As a designer and TV host for the last 18 years, I've helped people achieve the home of their dreams. With so many of us rethinking how we live right now, I wanted to help bring real life solutions to people who are ready to transform their homes with simple, easy to achieve solutions. This is In The Room with John Gidding. So today I'm designing for Antonia. She has the most outdated kitchen I think I've ever seen. Between the wallpaper at the very top to the different kinds of cabinetry, I can tell that this kitchen is struggling right now. Hi, I'm Antonia. I'm a PhD student here at the University of Rochester in New York. Um, I bought this house back in 2018 and I've done little home renovation projects here and there. Um, last year, because of COVID, I had a really big opportunity to gut my bathroom and redo it. However, the next step is tackling the kitchen because it's extremely outdated. The goal is ultimately to knock out this wall here to kind of create more of an island something to just give me a little bit more space in the actual kitchen because it is quite small. I don't need this huge fridge, but a dishwasher is a must. And then um, I have lines for a gas stove. Also compost, I compost frequently. I'm just always cooking and hustling inside the kitchen. It's just not utilizing the space that I need. This is a long and thin kitchen, which is a problem that many apartments have. Typically kitchens were just pushed off to a corner. It's only lately that our open lifestyles want these open kitchens that lead into dining rooms that are in the same space. One side of the kitchen works very well, long galley kitchen. The other side falls apart because there's doors and windows everywhere. Lots of natural light, great, but way too many doors to be able to access the walls and build the proper cabinets and countertops. We've got a fridge pushed into a corner, no countertop next to it, and then a range pushed up against a window, no countertops next to that. But Antonia is willing to have a smaller fridge, and with that in mind, I can move the range where the fridge is now and reorient the entire kitchen. So let's start. The first thing I do is I work up a plan. What Antonia has done right here is perfect. It's a floor plan with all the measurements written in. It's not to scale or the correct proportions, but that's gonna be our first step. There we go, that's about what her kitchen looks like to me. Of course, the saving grace of this kitchen is that we can get rid of this wall right here. Now, this is gonna make a big difference for us because whereas this fridge was sitting in this corner before, what I wanna do is take the range and pop it where the fridge was. And since we're going with a smaller fridge, I'm actually gonna propose drawer fridges for you, Antonia. I love them because they're perfect for small kitchens and you wanna be buying a lot of fresh food all the time anyway. And I think it's gonna work really well for you. I think it's pretty clear that what you want is a much more opened up kitchen. So maybe the right thing to do is to try to align some of these doorways. That's huge. If we move that door just over by about three feet, it makes a huge difference for this kitchen because now that wall that's adjacent with the dining room is entirely freed up. See, that's great. That really works, but if we want to move the range where the fridge used to be, we have to be even more innovative than that. We have to think of an entirely new kitchen layout that's never been done. Look where the range is now. What a big difference it makes to move the range and rotate it 90 degrees so it's actually facing inside the kitchen. This is strange. I know I'm pushing some of you out of your comfort zone. But trust me, by creating this U shape here, we're maximizing the linear footage of available countertop space. And that way there's a definite center point to this kitchen and it defines a chef's triangle. A chef's triangle being between the sink, the range, and the fridge. And you want them to be easily accessible from one point in the kitchen. That way you are the master of your domain and you can create incredible culinary adventures. And this is our plan right here. 18 inch dishwasher all the way to the right, possibly a 24 inch if she really wants it. A six inch utility drawer on the right side of a double oven range, 30 inches wide, centered on a wall with a huge hood on top. My recommendation, for a 30 inch range, get a 36 inch hood. There's a full row of seating on the dining room side, two refrigerator drawers, a recycling and trash station on the right side of the sink, and a 30 inch wide farmhouse style sink, which she's gonna love. Real quick, let's see what this looks like in 3D. 
you can see what a huge difference it made to move that wall away. Darker lower cabinets, lighter upper cabinets, blonde wood open shelves for the open pantry under the window, stainless steel appliances, lots of stainless steel touches here and there. I wouldn't be afraid of even putting a stainless steel hood over there on that wall. Subway tile for the backsplash. Um, not only do I love it, but Antonia specifically asked for it. The thing that allowed this to happen is that Antonia asked for a small fridge, whereas most people ask for bigger fridges. I wouldn't have been able to make this work with a larger fridge. By putting the fridge underneath the countertop, we've got a small version of a much bigger kitchen. And comfortable cooking space for one very important chef right here, perfectly situated in the middle of her chef's triangle. If you've got a home makeover project you need help with or a room you'd like to reimagine, drop us a DM at Shelter on Instagram and tell us your story. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss a new episode.